Who says things like that? How's it going? You're not from around here, are you? Never mind. Neither am I. Where did you hang around before? In the woods, hunting scavengers and wolves, together with some hunters. But I gave it up. These are dangerous times. There's a lot of riffraff running around out there. Where can I find the other hunters? We had our camp outside near the tavern, halfway to Onar's farm. But I don't know whether there is anyone left in the camp now. There used to be two of us here in town, until a few days ago. My friend Trokar is an excellent hunter. Vosper said you used to work for him. Yes, I did, but he was only interested in his blasted hides. I told him how dangerous it's gotten out there. He didn't really listen to me. Well, anyway, he paid well. I can't complain about that. Can you tell me anything else about him? <laughs> Vosper had one of his bows stolen recently in broad daylight. Some guy just waltzed into his store, took a bow, and left. The thieves are getting more and more brazen. Don't say. Can you teach me something about hunting? I can teach you how to sneak properly and how to handle a bow. These are bad times. So, where is your friend Trokar now? Well, it's a curious story. Only a few days ago, we were both standing at the bar in Corrigan's Tavern, discussing the hunt. Don't ask me what happened next. I had had a few by then. I vaguely remember Trokar saying that he was going out to get a few swamp weed reefers. He never came back. You can't keep anything. Where does one get swamp weed reefers? Somewhere down at the harbor, as far as I know. Didn't you go looking for him? No, but I reported it to the militia. But they haven't been able to find him yet. I hope he didn't get attacked by a wolf, or worse. I'm afraid that I'll stumble over his body someday when I'm out hunting. I don't think I could bear that. <laughs> Why don't we go hunting together? Hmm. With two, it isn't so dangerous, that's true. Do you know anything about hunting then? I mean, do you know how to skin an animal? Yes. All right, but I want to see 50 gold pieces. For that, you can keep the skins and sell them to Bosper. That's a fair deal, isn't it? Here they are. Let's go hunting. All right, follow me. Outside the south gate is a wood where we should find more than enough critters. Probably more than we'd like. By reason of the imminent danger of an attack by orcs, each inhabitant of a city is to prepare himself accordingly. That in this place, order and chaos were equal, and so the sea. for you, filthy beast. Another... So much for you. Nothing to be had there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing to be had there. So, what do you think? Should we go farther into the woods or not? Let's go on. All right. Let's hope this works out.
Nothing to be had there. That's it, I'm going back to the city. It's just too dangerous out here for me, even with two of us. An orc, right outside the city, holy shit. So, see ya. You can sell the skins to Bosper. About the wolf skins, I've got them, here. Great! I knew you would be suitable for this job. Here's the pay I promised you. And, what do you think? Isn't this better work than banging away at swords all day, or filling little bottles in a dusty chamber? Nobody will learn anything from me. Hey! What do you want, stranger? If you've come to beg, I must disappoint you. I am a poor widow. My name is Gritta. Ever since my husband died, I have been running the household for my uncle Thorobin. Mateo sent me. You still owe him some gold. He wants his money? What for? The goods he delivered were flawed, bad fabric, and bad seams. And did you look at the colors? Those are not the colors I ordered. That's fraud, that is. Let me tell you. Back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Such a good man he was. Handsome, hardworking, a gentleman of the old school. We had it all. Wealth. Happiness. Sometimes we were even invited to high society events. The festivities. All the beautiful clothes and hairdos. The fine dining and civilized conversations. Everything was better back then. No one would have dared to humiliate the heart of a poor widow with such... ridiculous claims. Whatever shall I do? My pension is barely enough to make ends meet. And times are getting even rougher. One sees it everywhere. People must scrimp and save. It's been weeks since the last ship came to town. My husband was the captain of a merchant ship. Actually, he even owned the ship. From his long journeys, he always brought me presents. Exquisite fabrics from the mainland. Precious spices from the southern countries. Most people haven't even heard of these things. But then, one day, I got the tidings that the Gritta had sunk. That was the name of the ship. My husband called it that out of love for me. I wept and prayed that my husband had survived the disaster. Every day I hoped to hear from him, but all my longing was in vain. May Innes have mercy on his soul. May he rest in peace. Since that time, I have been living under these modest circumstances, and now this soulless Callus Mateo is after the last bit of my life savings. Please have mercy on a poor woman. Back when my husband was alive, he wouldn't have dared to do that. Oh, my poor husband. Such a good man he was. Handsome, hardworking, a gentleman of the old school. We had it all. Wealth, happiness. Sometimes we were even invited to high society events. The festivities, all the beautiful clothes and hairdos, the fine dining and civilized conversations. 
Everything was better back then. No one would have dared to humiliate the heart of a poor widow with such... ridiculous claims. What people must script from his long... Cut it out. Where's the gold? But I don't have the gold. I'm only a poor widow. I'm gonna pay the sum for you. You would do that for me? Oh, I knew you weren't a greedy bastard like that Mateo. Yeah, yeah, never mind. Come back once you've taken care of that. I want to show you my gratitude. Here's your 100 gold pieces. You want to pay for her? <laughs> I'd have preferred it if you'd squeezed it out of her. Still, 100 gold pieces is 100 gold pieces. You've held up your part of the deal. Help me sign on as an apprentice with one of the masters. Don't worry. I'll keep my part of the bargain. The other masters will only hear the best about you from me. Hey, you! How about your approval, Master? Has Vatras given you his blessing? Yes. And did you also get the blessing of a priest of Inos? Yes, I did. Then you shall have my blessing as well. No matter what path you decide to take, take pride in doing a good job, my boy. Hey. It was very noble of you to pay for me. I want to show you my gratitude. Here's a bottle of wine which my husband, may Inos rest his soul, brought back from the southern islands. Also, I'm going to spread the news around. At last there's somebody in town whose virtue... Yeah, yeah, never mind. Hey, you! Can you teach me how to pick locks? You have paid Gritta's debt with Matteo. You seem to be a decent fellow. I shall teach you what you want to know. However, I cannot do it for free. I still have a mountain of debts, and I need the money. How much do you charge? 200 gold pieces. Fine, here are 200 gold pieces. You're still a few coins short of 200. I need that money. What do you want? I wanted to have a look around here. Then where exactly are you headed? What interesting things are there to see here? There's uh, a cat house here and a tavern. The landlord's name is Kardef. If it's information you want, he'll be the right person to talk to. Do you uh, need money, by the way? Are you giving it away? No. But right across the street here is the uh, house of Lamar, the moneylender. I'm sure he'll give you a few gold pieces. Just go ahead. Do you work for Lamar? Hmm, smart kid. Actually, I was on my way to the upper quarter. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was about to board a ship and have it take me to the king for an audience. People like you and me haven't been allowed in the upper quarter since the paladins came. Are you a citizen of this town? If you mean do I live here, yeah. But still they won't let me into the upper quarter. Mm, only the Toth can get in there are the merchants and craftsmen from the lower end of town. The people from the harbor district don't carry much weight in Corinth. There isn't even a regular militia patrol down here. Has anything exciting happened lately? Not long ago, the city guards turned the entire harbor district upside down. They were searching for stolen property. <laughs> there have been plenty of thefts here lately, especially in the better quarters. 
They're obviously trying to blame the poor suckers at the harbor for everything. Has anything not there with their obvious? How's it going? How much do you want? What do you mean, how much? I'm the money lender and you came to me. What could you want from me? Money, of course. Well, lend me some money. Sure, how much would you like? I charge 20%. 200 gold coins. That's a lot of money. I'll see you here again tomorrow, and the money too. Understand? Do you always throw your money at people like that? Don't worry, you'll be back. Otherwise, I'll find you and kill you. It's that simple. You've got such a distinctive mug that it wouldn't take long for me to find you. So don't even think about playing around with me. Can you teach me how to... You have paid... However, how much to... Fine. Here are 200 gold pieces. This money will really help me. We can start as soon as you're ready. Teach me how to pick a lock. All you need is a lock pick. If you move it carefully left and right in the lock, you can unbolt the mechanism. But if you move it too much or too fast in the wrong direction, it will snap right off. The more adept you become, the fewer lockpicks you are going to need. That's all there is to it, really. Can you sell me some lockpicks? If I have any left. Have you had an apprentice before? Yes, and not too long ago. And what happened? His name is Elvridge. He's my nephew. I was quite pleased with him, actually. But one day, he simply didn't show up for work. Where is Elvridge now? How would I know? He kept hanging around that filthy brothel by the harbor. I wouldn't be surprised if he's still warming the bed of some whore down there. Have you reported that to the militia? Of course I have. They were supposed to catch him and see to it that the Lazy Bones does his work. But I already regret that. He can do whatever he wants. Sooner or later he'll realize he'll get nowhere in Corinus without a decent job. Is that so? How long has it been since you saw him? I guess it must be about two weeks. What do you know about the Paladins? Not much. They arrived by ship two weeks ago from the mainland. Since then, they've withdrawn to the upper end of town. Nobody here really knows exactly why they have come. Many are afraid of an attack by the orcs. I suppose, however, that they are here to quell the farmer's rebellion. Can if I have any... Do you know anything about the Peasants' Rebellion? Rumor has it that Onar, the landowner, has hired mercenaries to keep the King's troops from breathing down his neck. He was probably tired of having to throw his harvest along with his livestock at paladins and militia. All we notice of this in town is that the food prices keep rising. Onar's farm lies far to the east of here. We wouldn't know if there's any fighting going on there. And if you want to know more, ask the merchants in the marketplace. They get around the island more than I do. Hey! Hmm. What do you want? Really, how interesting. I've got the orc weapon you wanted. Show me. It's been a while since I've had a weapon like this in my hands. I was a soldier back in the orc war. Those were tough times, I can tell you. 
I didn't think you could do it. I'm impressed. Can I sign on as an apprentice with a different master? You're a good man. I'll give you my approval. Brian will still be here for a while, and a strong lad to take his place will turn up in time.